Welcome to the Sovereign Soul Unchained Mind. <clears throat> this will be on the backup channel as well as Rumble too, because I think this is rather interesting. I'd already in the past had shown everybody that where I had been arguing with people over, you know, flat earth and things like that on Facebook to a point where I would uh, it's just finally they would become to the point of so irritating. I mean, even to the level of, oh, you know, your mom eats poop and just, you know, that kind of shit. And what they're trying to do is get you to make an angry response to them so that they can report you and have you blocked. Their mission is to shut down anybody talking about flat earth. OK, and so when I went back to my blocked list later, I noticed just because I wanted to see what was on it. I noticed that I had Bobby Fact. I don't ever remember that name. Sam Factor, Fact Book, Fact Book, Fact Book Changes. Some gang, gas mate, Factor Corp, Fact Book, Fact Book, Fact Team. Go to the next one. Here's a real person. Spybot Phoenix, Spybot, FB Face Factbook, Admin Facebook Indonesia. So what we found was that this is part of that Hillary's uh, cyber army to combat dangerous things online, as they call it. And apparently they believe that Flat Earth is a dangerous uh, subject. Well, of course it's dangerous because once somebody comes to the, uh, the idea of the actual flat earth. Look at this fact checker, fact checker, fact checker, fact checker. None of them were real people at all. None of them. You see this. Okay. Well, the reason I bring that up is because I had a very interesting experience with our stream last night. If any of you were there, you'll know that we were broadcasting on the main channel, Sovereign Soul on Chain Mind the uh, backup channel, Sob's Place, and also on Rumble at SSUM369. Now, the title of the video had nothing to do with Flat Earth at all. Um, some references were made. And on the backup channel, as you, I had one known globe troll. Perhaps some of you are familiar with this person. Let me show you who it was. And it was this guy, Sean Hawkins. He has a NASA uh, logo with shill. Yes, he is a NASA shill. Absolutely. It looks as though recently he's been mostly focused on, uh, on uh, delete laws. But most of his shit is really low production value. I mean, come on, dude. Turn the fucking ceiling fan off if it squeaks that bad. You know what I'm saying? But he had an awful, awful thing where he would wouldn't debate anyone unless they could pass his Polaris challenge. And uh, otherwise, they're not worthy to debate him on subjects of flat earth. And um, I called him out on that quite a while back and had not heard anything from him in over a year. So anyway, last night, as we were broadcasting, he showed up on the backup channel in the chat. There was only a couple of people in there and he was one of them. Now he was the only known globe troll on any of the platforms, at least that I recognized. And each of his comments were, this guy's a joke, da, 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 you know, that kind of bullshit. Um, I put the link in and said, you're free to come up and discuss this with me if you'd wish. He never took it. He won't come on because he's a shill okay he knows that i'm going to ask him about his polaris challenge and how he knows what the distance to polaris is that's where they start to run into a problem okay now here's where we get to the interesting point we can see that the name of the video last night let me show you this is it that one yes okay it was called Frickin' Friday Night, right? And even in the uh, description, it says discussion on all our favorite topics. We will cut the stream and go to Rumble site only so we can talk about whatever we want. I had the links there. Join us here at Rumble. Also, be sure to subscribe to my backup channel. It's Sav's Place, okay? 
Nothing in here about flat earth at all. But the only one where this flat earth shill showed up on that actually had the fewest views, only 42 views. If you'll notice, I'm going to show you something. Is that the one? Yeah. So if you'll notice on that one, we got the famous Wikipedia fact check on flat earth. Now, is it just a coincidence that the only known globe troll showed up over? Let's see if we can see if is, the chat replay should play. Let me see if I can zoom this up a little bit here to where he was in it. Let's see. Let me get it up there a little bit. There we go. So you can probably see. I love how maggots suckle on foxes' teat. And then the other one was, oh, my God, this guy is pathetic. Okay. So let's go along a little further here and see if he left anything else. I think those are the only two. I think those are the only two that he ended up putting in here. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, that was it. That was it. But, again, the only globe troll that showed up and he showed up on the backup channel, and the backup channel with the least views is the one that got the Wikipedia fact check. I think that's interesting. Are we talking about another member of Hillary's so-called cyber army to combat dangerous things? I believe that's exactly what we have in Sean Hawkins. I really do. I really do. As you can see, he's mostly concentrated on Chile de Castro still. Um, let's see when his last live was 14 hours ago. And he's just basically going after auditors and shit because nobody, nobody wants to fool with him on flat earth anymore. Nobody even wants to fool with him because he's, he's been shown to be a fucking retard. And the fact that he's still glomming onto that, he likes how, how people glom onto Fox's teat. So I like how you suck on Chili's dick there, Sean. You know, I think that's what you do, brother. But anyway, I think that's pretty good uh, indication of what we have. I think that's pretty good, damn good indication as to what we have. And, uh, you know, here it is. There's there's the Wikipedia. And the exact same video on the main channel. No Wikipedia fact check. Backup channel where the globe shell shows up at. Sean Hawkins. I love how maggots suckle on Fox's teat. Oh, my God, this guy is pathetic. I don't think he got the interaction he was wanting, but I noticed that after I put the link in and said, go ahead and come on up if you want to. Um, as you can see, I did here a few times. Okay. He, uh, he, never, he didn't take me up on that because he knows that he is the one who is not worthy to debate anyone. You see, he's the one that's not worthy to debate because he knows that it's a dying fucking belief. More and more people are understanding the true cosmology of the earth. And I'm sorry, Sean. You're just a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. Beware of a lot of these people. I often wonder, you know, you've got other ones like this Reds rhetoric. They sure do seem to invest a goddamn lot of money into trying to prove something that should be obvious, but isn't, you see. And this is all an attempt because once they got your mind hooked into that crazy shit, they can make you believe anything that they want to, okay? They can even make you believe that a senile old man is president of the United States. They can make you believe that the Ukrainians are wiping out Russians left and right. Okay. They can make you believe whatever. You know why? Because the American people are the most prop, uh, propagandized and brainwashed people that there are. Absolutely 100%. And... So much so that they have to get pathetic individuals like this to try to combat it. You see, they don't want people waking up. 
So all I can say is research without bias. Question every goddamn thing that comes across your plate. I don't care what it is. I mean, whether it's the huge influx all of a sudden of, of uh, transsexuals or the huge influx of random shootings taking place, you need to start asking yourself questions. You need to start asking them questions. And don't let them shut you down because the question is not hate. It's an inquiry. Okay? If the answer is potentially something that goes against the narrative, that's why they strike it for hate. Just like when I did the Nashville incident and they cut my stream, said it was hate speech and there was no hate speech in there. And if there was, God forbid somebody say something hateful about someone who supposedly just murdered children. Damn, no, don't better use the right pronouns for that where I did use the right pronouns. So that being said, I just wanted to make this short little video. Um, remember what we always say here. The Lord loves a working man. Don't trust Whitey. See your doctor and get the fuck rid of him. See you next time.